Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to EVL TV here on this lovely Wednesday evening night place in time. We're bringing you some action from ESEIM, Battle of the Undefeateds here with Snailed It versus Dog One. I am Flatline from Flathead.com, and here is a new face to the EVL tele offices. That's not I a am, word. <laughs> I am Rock and Roll, and I'm going to be joining Flatline. Yes, rock and roll 805. You can't forget the numbers. That's important. Mm -hmm. But here we are. We are sitting in CP Goalie Watch underscore final one with some two very interesting teams, if I do say so myself. As I mentioned, they're both undefeated in IM. I believe Dog One is sitting at 4 0, and Snowden is sitting at 3 0. And, well, I guess if you look at the rosters, everyone kind of expected Dog One to be this far in. I mean, they have like crazy good talent. I mean, Rikachu has invite experience. Um, Liko has just leaped out of Brazil and is just amazing at this video game. And, you know, Mike and Sam and literally everyone on that team is just crazy good. But I guess the real surprise would be Snailed It. I mean, they were pretty good in the open last season as Wiener Bros. They made some serious roster adjustments at the end of the season and they kind of petered out or bustered out at the end of the open playoffs. But now they're coming back and they've got a really improved roster. They got Rolling on Romer, who's already proved himself in IM with Pizza Gone. And they've got Glider on demo. And I think Glider has been floating around for a while. I've you never actually... say he's been gliding around. Oh my gosh. But yeah, he's been floating around for a while. I've never actually seen him play demo, but from what I've watched of their matches so far, he's been doing a lot of work. And they are 3 0, actually, after a really awesome 5 4 game that I wish I would have casted between them and a freaking awesome gamer. Bringing the, the team name prize home for worst best team name in IM. But yeah, they are 3-0 right now, and I I honestly didn't expect it. Like, I knew they were going to be pretty good this season, but I did not predict that win over freaking awesome gamers. Should be an exciting match to watch. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Yeah, honestly, I I really don't know either. I mean, Dog1 is really good, but they also showed that they have weaknesses, especially in a game last week against uh, Very Merry Toothmas, which it, by all accounts is a game they should have taken, but they went down like, I think it was 4-0 in the, in the second half, they were down 4-0, and then they came back with one of the greatest comebacks I've ever seen, like ever in the video game, and just got five straight rounds off them. So it was a team they should have like hand, not handily beaten, but beaten on paper, but they almost just completely like got 5-0 and threw it all away. So I feel like they're definitely a team that has ups and downs. And if this is one of their down days, I can definitely see Snell that taking it rather easily. But it looks like we do have everyone readied up. And we're going to get some video games soon as we see that lovely white text classes going live soon. And after ESC baits us a couple times, I think I'm going to watch... I'm going to watch Rang on this I like to watch the demos when they roll out because on Gully Watch, where the demo goes is usually where the team's gonna end up going to. Yeah, yeah, that's always a good first choice. I'm, I'm gonna stick with Ranga though. He's got that. He's got that pocket rollout going. It's actually, I think he's running gunboats, which is why he's super slow to mid. Yeah, he's running pockets, pocket gunboat. He's gonna grab the little pack here on the left side. Take his buff from Cook. Looks like there. I'm trying to move up left. Ranga takes the nipple. Not really doing anything yet. He does spot on a scout on the floor, but he's not gonna be able to really get. It. Rolling actually, I think he killed himself there, going through drop down or something. So Babiko does go in and trade. Tristan's gonna go down as well. Rang is sitting on the floor here, and it looks like that's going to be Dog1 taking them there. Just didn't have the positioning, and they lost two people really early. Two of their, honestly, like, one of their best players in Skag. They tried getting a little bit too aggressive there on the mid fight, and they couldn't really handle it, and they just really got punished for trying to go in on that. And Red team's yeah. just gonna be rolling out through because they don't have players to hold second, so they're just gonna back up straight to last. And with yeah, both they... medics on Uber, you might see them try to up a heavy or a pyre or something to really stall things out from here. Yeah, it looks like we do have Skag up on heavy and Skis up on NG. I mean, NG's a good choice. They obviously know they both have Uber, so they're gonna stall it out for a while. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. to see a sack come in from either Sam or, uh, Sam or Micah soon. Last goals on Goalie Watch can take a while, but it's interesting to see an NG because you usually want to do that when you have time, but I guess Red doesn't want to push in right away. Yeah, obviously the reserve. It looks like Liko. Oh, Sam just walked right in and two, shit, two shot glider. Okay, and Sam's just getting right on the point. He almost got it capped there. They know where the sentry is now, and they there's no demo to hold last. That's so crucial. Renga's gonna come in. He takes down rolling. He takes down all the sentry stuff. The Uber's coming in. 
the Uber does fade, but they still have so much time on the point. Mike is going underneath. Can he just cap it? Right now, he's got Shiki. He sees him. He shoots him a couple times. He's not going to be able to get the kill. Rangan does come in and clean up, though, and he's going to oh get enough time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. And that... I don't. I didn't see what Sam did, but he just got in and straight just murdered Glider. And they didn't have the heavy the watching the point. He was off the side, and the scout just came right up uh, through behind in water. They pushed all their guys to the river because they saw that their flank wasn't holding there, and they really just capitalized that on that. That was that was a, going up in the crazy uh, goalie watch last holes. Again, we but, see both demos coming left. It looks like Snail is going to be trying to get in pretty aggressive again, but. Dog's just gonna try to hold their ground, try to keep him out. Yeah, rolling again the first casualty on mid. This time he goes down to Sam, and they lose skis as well on the yeah, They're gonna have to back out here. Uh, Skag does pick up Sam on the flank, so that's probably gonna be at least a second hold out of them, instead of being pushed out like they were last time. But uh, it looks like they're actually gonna fight. They're sitting in choke, they wanna fight this mid, and that's a good idea, honestly. Oh man, they still have the scout behind. That's and, not yeah, good for them, the that's like behind. having a player down. They do spot out Skag though. He's getting it. He's gonna get spotted out by Micah though, and he's not probably not gonna be able to do anything unless he gets out. And yeah, we got to pick up Sam. The Ubers are gonna be exchanged here in choke, but it looks like Peyote's kind of cut off from his pocket, and he's also pretty hurt. They do pick up Cookie Jake though. Glider gets the stick, and that's going to be the heal advantage in favor of Snail. That they're probably gonna take this push into mid now. Cookie Jake not up for another eight seconds. They're gonna get a sizable Uber ad and a free mid here. Ooh, I'm not really sure what Dog was trying to do there, because they pushed in without all their players. Both teams had to trade their Ubers, but because Dog didn't really have many players to commit there, Snail did just really kill them and got the med, which is going to be good for them. They're going to need to get really aggressive now, because they oh, have this Uber advantage. Sam was on Sniper, and he baited Skis into Big Door with how far he was pushed, and then he just got cleaned up so easily by Ranga. That was... they had an advantage, and now they just kind of tossed it all away, because they... well, they know Sam is on Sniper now. So they're going to be a lot more hesitant to push. And, oh, do we have a pause? I, I believe we have a pause. How far is this game in? It's been like three minutes and we already have a pause. <laughs> What's a match without a pause? Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, Sam is up on Sniper right now. Uh, Peyote still has a sizable Uber advantage, but they're still down ski. I think he's actually just spawning. I can't see on my HUD. It might have gotten broken. So that was a pretty technique. good sniper play there. It was worth the risk that yeah. they took. Yeah, honestly, so he's just kind of got a bit frag happy. You saw that sniper, and he's like, oh, I'm going to get that free frag, and then yeah, he just kind of got flank. baited. He got baited pretty hard. So, if I know Peyote, he's probably not going to be scared of Sam at all on sniper. And he also has a size of a He's probably just going to pop in a bit early through choke and just go go in and try and yeah. just push them out. Also, Cookie Jake is in like the worst position possible right now. He's got nobody to heal, and he's caught in by the propane tank so if they push in like they could honestly like push in right now and kill cookie jake super well easily. they do have sam Off watching Uber. they do have sam watching but he's also looking at the post right now yeah i mean he's probably gonna look somewhere else but the they, they are a player wide. down too so this will be kind of a tricky spot if they do decide to push so yeah. they're, they're gonna have to make a decision if they want to get really aggressive now try to use mm -hmm. uber advantage that they have and use the fact that sam is on sniper because if he can't hit the shot, then that's kind of like having a player down on their team. But they may just want to wait until they get that scout up and then have the Uber and then just push in. Yeah. Interestingly, with how um, Dog1 is playing right now, a big door push would be not not a bad idea because there's really nobody watching besides Sam. And the rest of the team is in a position where they can get easily pinched if they send their like their combo into big door and then have other people in choke trying to bait them a bit. So that is also a possibility. Or they could just sit there and waste their Uber advantage, which is also a possibility. And I've seen it happen way too many times. And it makes me really sad every time. Well, the way their players are positioned right now, they, it looks like they might just go straight through choke. Yeah, they're probably just going to go for the orthodox choke put once they get this. Yeah, but they don't have any guys on the flank, so that is another option yeah. for them. Like, everything's open for them. It's just yeah. we got to see what option that they choose. Uh, Sam, if the flank continues to stay open, we're probably going to see Sam peeking ultra, like, ultra deep to try and get a shot onto Peyote, because there's really nowhere he can hide if there's a sniper in Big Door, except for maybe behind the boxes. Yeah, or they'll, like, they'll have to give up if, in he, he, elbow. if he decides to watch the garage. Yeah. I was like, just send one person flank with him. If they're giving this much Big Door room, they could just send one person with Sam through and hope for the miracle pick. He's not going to really do much else on Sniper anyway. Exactly. And there's and there's still have a player down, so honestly, you can just sack it. You can sack and scout. Although, mm -hmm. that might not be the best idea because of respawn. Yeah. 
I, what I want to know have... is who ended up dropping the server that caused the pause, because that could change yeah. a lot. Do you have any information on uh, why they pause? No, I can yell at Cookie Jake, but uh, this pause is 120 seconds in the future, so I might scream at him during his match, which is not good. Okay. Was it was it a player drop? I I would assume so. I don't know why else you would pause. Unless the server was super laggy. They were complaining about server lag earlier, so that's possible, but all the pings look at least decent, so it shouldn't be a problem unless someone's having like massive packet loss. Yeah. I wonder how right. much blue team can figure out here from the way red is set up. They need to try to pick the okay. most optimal way to push in. I have the insider information from Cookie Jake that Liko is currently lagging and he's trying to fix it. So it, his ping just keeps dropping, his internet just keeps dropping and going back up, but it looks like they are unpausing, so we're going to be back in about 90 seconds. Alright. So nobody oh, we're dropped. Back now. Oh, okay. All right. Pause is hype. Okay, so nobody dropped, so that's good. We're oh, you sitting... can see um, yeah. dog is really rotating towards the upper area, which is the passive hold that you want to do on yeah, second. It looks like it's the hold that you want to do when you don't want to commit to being in there. And just like that um, snail that's going to be pushing right in through. <laughs> what are they doing? Big door. Yeah, they're going straight in through big door. I don't think they anticipated this position change here. Skaggins go down, it looks like Skeez is going to get caught in as well. He's sitting in lobby with three health. He does get caught out, and that's two members that are flanked down. They... Oh, no, here comes the Uber from Dog1. Yeah, they're not going to let him cap this. They're going to have to back out. The Uber... Peyote's holding onto this really well. They're going to have a great Uber here. Except if Roland goes down, yeah, now they can't use it. At Those least for a couple more seconds. Just ran straight into lobby, upper lobby. Yeah, Dog1 is catching them right now. They're, going, they're moving through Victor. They're catching in the combo of Snailed it, and this is really disastrous. As it looks like actually they're gonna wrap him, but they're still two down. Oh my god! They're three what is down. Going on? Skag is just going to last. He doesn't have anyone to stop this cap except for Cookie. Is he Jake. gonna get it? He's gonna. I think he's gonna get it. Yes, he will. Oh my gosh! Oh the medic my couldn't goodness. save. <laughs> Cookie Jake was just. I. That was a wrap on a wrap on a wrap uh, on a wrap. I, yeah, I, th I didn't think Snailed was gonna get it there because they committed both their scouts into the lobby, trying to squeeze in. They did get no cap time on the point. Yeah. They were, getting, they were really lackluster positioning. Yeah, they're getting wrapped from Big Door, so they're just like, we're, we're gonna just go and push. We don't care if anybody else dies. But, uh, I'm actually gonna watch Skag on this bit as he goes underneath. He's brought down Liko to about half, but he's really going too deep for that frag, and he is gonna get taken down by Liko. The rest of Snailed is still gonna try and move across the point, and Glider cleaning up on the frag. Ooh, Bowling gonna go in. He takes down Cookie Jake. He's gonna die for it, and Glider goes down as well. Looks like Snailed is gonna move out, but they're gonna keep their Uber advantage and their meta alive. So they're gonna be in a good position to repush. Oh, we see Sam on Sniper again. I wonder what this is gonna look like. Ooh. I don't know. He didn't He didn't really do much last time. He was just kind of the bait. So oh, During that mid-fight, Snail to try to get a bit aggressive, but they couldn't quite handle this. So, it looks like they're just gonna be holding a second. I guess Sam into, uh, is going Sniper because they didn't oh, anticipate it, them going straight frozen. back in with a super advantage here. Yeah, Sam just died to, to Skag there. Super early as well. It doesn't even look like a... Zelray is gonna have to pop an AK code. Yeah, they're gonna go for this big girl push again. They already seem to really like this big girl push. Skag is getting in here on the flank onto Liko. He gets taken down there. That's a good pick. Oh, Cookie Jake eats the pipe from Glider, and he's gonna go down as well. This is some great cleanup from Snailden. They're only three up for Dog One, and they're all really hurt. Honestly, uh, actually, with the numbers of Snailden, they can't really push, but they are definitely going to be able to hold on to a sizable Uber advantage here. They can pick up Ranga too super late. The spawns for. Dog one are gonna come up, so they're gonna not push, not be able to push right now. But they're definitely gonna hold on to. I think it's about a thirty percent Uber advantage, and they're building it too. My HUD's kind of broken right now. Yeah, it's because of the pause. It, it'll fix itself eventually. Trademark. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we do have the engineer back up this time from Sam. He's just putting a sentry out on the left, and he's actually putting up a dispenser, which is interesting. I mean, it, in last ditch situations, I mean, I guess it could save your med if he like surfs towards it and eats a rocket. I'm surprised they're... Oh, they're, they got a heavy, too. They're yeah, holding like a... really far on the left side again. They, it seems like they learned from the first time. And yeah. the, they're just going to do the same thing, just try to come straight through the river. They see that nobody's holding there. And they might try to send a scout straight through water again, because nobody's standing on the point. Yeah, Everyone's just all in... jammed up on the left side there. Get a demo it's... Uber in, just spam some sticks, and just take it all out. Yeah, Sky goes in water there, but he was super hurt, so he had to get out. Honestly, like, Dogwood is just running this full Pearl Liner setup. I mean, they got the Pyro, the Heavy, the Engine. They got all of it. They're not... 
they're not gonna give this last point up easily. And Kiki Jake has Zuber now, so they're gonna have to dwindle away their advantage. I would not be surprised to see some sort of sack come in. Honestly, though, they're probably not gonna get much with the Pyro and the Heavy and the NG. Yeah, so even if they win the defense, it's gonna be kind of hard to push out. Yeah. I'm really surprised yeah. that they're committing this many players to top classing. Did they oh. get rid of their NG? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, they did actually. Sam is back on scout. They did pick up rolling, and actually, they're just gonna take this straight in off that rumor pick. The Uber's coming in through lobby. I question this because now the Uber for Peyote is gonna be so much better. They're chasing them back. The Uber has faded for Ranga and company, but it's just gonna be an exchange. Yeah, they pushed them through choke, so they didn't really have anywhere to go with the Uber. So that was, that was the smart play. Exchange in Ubers. And looks like uh, Snailbit's giving up Lobby a bit as their combo's just kind of sitting in shutter. They're gonna move back in though, eventually. Nico's sitting here for your on bats though, he's spamming them out really well. And he's got Rango with him now as well, they're just doing so much damage together, keeping uh, Snailbit out, at least for the moment. Dog has finally given himself a chance to push out here. It yeah. seems like... Well, Nico's really deep in River here, he had Sam with him too, but they're both so hurt. Nico might actually get caught in here. Okay, he does, he does make it out. Glider choosing not to pressure because he's actually only at 78 health. Um, we do have rolling still on heavy. Oh, rolling on offensive heavy, hello. I don't know what my sides are, but yeah, they're <laughs> they're playing super defensive out here. They're sitting up on the bats, they have rolling up on the point. Are you I sure this wasn't a Highlander match? I'm, I'm starting to question it right now. I've, they're definitely trying to bait some sort of push. Yeah, they have two people sitting up in river, trying to feign aggression, and then wow, just trying to bait them Wow, this could work for them. Oh, and again. they're throwing in the sack so that red will just push straight in after they get yeah. the players down. Yeah, they got nothing off those sacks, but it doesn't matter because they have no idea that this heavy is happening. Actually, he's hiding up top. Okay, no. Oh, man. I thought he was hiding in the corner, but he is up top. And here comes the Uber from Dog1. Rank actually just jumping straight into this heavy. Cookie Jake does manage to save him, but the Uber's gonna be like, Oh, Rikachu! He was spawn camping and he gets the 3k <laughs> on all the spawners. That's so oh, dirty. Oh, my goodness. They're getting wrapped like a burrito oh my goodness rikachu with the game sense to just go i'm just gonna walk around and kill all these spawners because there's nobody watching big door oh my god they just that was you just got one up like there's no they try to outthink him a little bit too hard but then dog <laughs> they just, Rika just went in for the uh, classic play some stickies on that shutter door and wait for your guys to spawn well snail that's a risky bet there didn't really pay off they still have they still have even new bruce so they're on, like sitting back at last yet. In fact, Ranga is actually pushing really deep into Big Door here. He's got Cookie Jake with him. They are definitely wanting to push Big Door, and they are up, almost up on the river. Uh, Skag's actually really in deep. Oh, he almost got sniped out by the sticky. That could have been a big pick. They see their demo in the flank, and it looks like they want to commit some guys towards there to kind of spam them out more, like move their combo towards there to get some counter spam going on. Yeah. Looks like uh, Cookie Jane Company are backing out now more. They're still staying on their side of mid, but they aren't really showing any aggression in choke yet. Ranga's starting to move through though. It looks like they are just gonna go straight in or not. Okay. Actually, this it is seems like he just wants to face check it. Yeah, Liko's actually oh, in lobby. Oh, and the Uber oh. doesn't come out fast enough and he gets killed. Liko's on glider in lobby though. He's got him distracted at the very least, and he's not in this fight at all. As the rest of Snow is trying to get into mid, but they just don't have the demo spam. Liko's still in behind. He's best. He's causing all sorts of chaos. He's pulling back rolling, he's pulling back glider. And he's still alive, too. This is a two-front fight they're they're engaging in right now. Sam does go down. they're trying to, to commit their team in so they can pull their soldier out, but it really doesn't seem to be working for them right now. Yeah, they dropped Sam on that, too, so they aren't really going to be able to do anything. Liko's still in behind. It looks like he is going to go in for the pop. He's still on really good health. He gets two rockets onto, onto Peyote, but Peyote not popping. Yeah, he probably caught all the damage and kind of baited his own oh, team into thinking up, that though. they could go in and they all oh. died, so why? Oh my gosh, they wanted that pet pick really bad. Nico, it looked like he did two rockets, he even fooled me, but then I looked at Peyote's HP and he's still at 130, so uh, questionable. I think he baited his own team. I think he baited his own team there. That was a questionable decision. And now, they do at least have all their spawns for second, but they are down a full uber and they aren't even going to try to defend second they're, they're just going to rush straight back to last yeah it looks like they're actually going to go up top okay they're going to they're going to play passive here sit up top try and get the uber force as it looks like uh snilded is going to move in here through big door like his own Nico goes but down <laughs> super early to pull anything out yeah the uber actually comes out and looks like snilded is in lobby here cookie jake going to take down the skis with the arrow they're just going to try to get on the point and Snailed it. Looks like they wanted to move it through Big Door, but they are going to go in through Lobby now instead. The cap is yep. going to go for them, but Cookie Jake has a pretty sizable Uber at now. 
they lost some two players trying to back out there, which is a bit too much, but I guess uh, Snailda doesn't really want to push in right away on the uber disadvantage, so they kind of let that slide from them. Yeah. Looks like uh, Dog1 is moving up in here through river. They know they have the uber. They're just gonna, they're just gonna push it straight in. It's kind of a little bit low to push in on, unless they go super fast, which they aren't doing because they're getting spammed out. They pick up skis though, and yeah, that's gonna trigger the push. We should be able to get him on the flank. Nico jumping up. Oh, he picks out Goliath, and he might get a Skag was caught in as well, and they do. Cheeky's trying to come in and support his team, but he can't get anything. Looks like rolling like a cut out as well. Nah, he's gonna be able to escape. He oh he hits the pipe from Mikachu though. But that's gonna be uh snail that pretty much pressured out of mid entirely. They dropped three there. They especially roll losing the lighter just pretty much killed their push and they're gonna have to give up mid as well. Dog doing a really good job keeping that aggression on, pushing them all the way back to second from theirs. And now they have the even Ubers and we're just gonna have to wait and see who can get a pick first. Yeah, even though Snaildit has had some really good team plays, Dog One just shows like they can pick out people who don't know what they're doing super easily. Like Glider was just a few millimeters too deep, and he got just spammed and juggled, and you're dead, and you lost two points because of it. Mm -hmm. How come Dog's not really putting any players on flank? They're just letting, sorry, they're letting Glider come in and just put sticks everywhere he wants. Get control of that flank. Like I said, if they want to play off of Snaildit's mistakes, they're gonna leave things like this open, and they're just gonna say like, "Come in, I dare you, I dare you," and then they're gonna try and get the pick. Yeah, this is this is their playstyle most of the time. Nico ate a pipe there, but he is gonna be able to live. And now we're sitting at the famous Gully Watch Snailmate, part eighty-nine bajillion. Looks like Cookie Jake and team wants to move here through Big Door. They're gonna at least put some more pressure on it. As they got both their soldiers and their demo movement, they got five Nailed it, spots it out, and they're gonna rotate some players over. Yeah. Interestingly, Rolling is still hiding above Choke, despite it being called that they're moving in through Big Door. Actually, we have Liko like in behind, behind Lobby. Yeah, Renga does go down, though, and Skag is in here to fight him. He does lose the DM fight there to Liko. Liko also distracting Glider yet again. He's still alive, too. He's gonna be able to live with 100 health, and can he go in this time again? The Uber does come out from Dog 1, but they aren't really getting the pop out of Peyote at all. Nico goes down as well, and this has been a great hold from Peyote. He's finally killing Micah. <laughs> yeah, he's able to pick up two there. And that was just a great Uber hold there from Peyote. He's engineered his team as a pretty big advantage. Two down on the flank, and a full Uber. And Sam looks like he's going to the big door, trying to take the 1v1 with Skag, and he gets completely demolished. You cannot do that. And that is a late pick, too. Sam's not going to be able to get forwards, and that could just be the Starlight Book Camel's back for a second. Micah is up on Sniper, though. Snailed it, kind of took their time walking into the point there. And then the uh, dog, they had their, their Roamer and their Scout still in, lingering around, thinking that they weren't going to go in right away and just kind of got punished and got killed for still being out. And now you're going to see Snailed it just coming straight in through their flank, jumping up. Oh, she <laughs> air just shot. got destroyed there. The pipe from Rikachu, basically just, you cannot, you cannot come to this domain. They are gonna pick up the point. service on time. Yeah, they are gonna pick up the point at least, and they're probably gonna move into lobby, but it looks like we're gonna see another stalemate until someone decides to either push or sack. Probably gonna be sack. I'm actually surprised Micah didn't come up on something, considering he was already dead. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it looks like Sam is on Sniper now, though. He's peeking out from the right side. Trying to see anything, but it looks like most of Snell that is sitting in the staircase or in the river. And if, if your med sits in that staircase, it's basically impossible for a sniper to ever kill you unless he like literally runs out all the way through the lobby. Oh, Shiki jumping straight in, trying to go for med picks, see if he can get anything, oh. but getting shut down by that sentry. Yeah, rolling went in to do some damage too, but he got shut down by that sentry as well. Cookie Jake taking like zero damage, and looks like he's going to want to move in here through lobby with Ranga. They are completely out of lobby here. No heavy this time, though. They really they really need to have someone, someone at least watching Big Door so they can avoid the, the catastrophe from last time, though. As Dog1 so starts to move in players. here from up top. Dog's just gonna come straight in. They have the even Ubers, but they're gonna try to force it out from them. And Dog's pop an Uber early. Rolling is in through lobby here. They can, oh, I don't think they can I don't think they nice can commit. Shot on and lobby. And Shiggy is in on Cookie Jake. They're just crumbling apart. It's only Sam and Liko left. Just Liko to hold this in a wow. 1v5. He's not even in the right spot. This looks like it's gonna be around oh, man. four <laughs> Such a desperate last cap. I don't get it. Dog1 looks so good, so calm, so collected, and they just lose four people on a team fight. Yeah, no reason. I don't think they were quick enough to capitalize on the fact that Snail did yeah. lost two of their players there. They really didn't kind of jump in. Like, they should have just pushed out right away.
They they still had a player on NG, so that might have slowed down them pushing out. But they what they should have done is just come straight out and just kind of force nailed it to either pop it or leave. Yeah. And with four players, they they would have just gladly given that up. Anyway, it looks like rolling is again the first one to die on this mid. I'm watching Cheeky as he's sitting up here on the nipple. Kills Liko trying to go for the med bomb. And but he's actually also really hurt. Skis is gonna be able to pick up Sam on the flank, and that looks like it's gonna be the the kill that breaks it. As it looks like Rang is trying to go in as well, but he's gonna go down. They're still trying to fight this, and she's actually on the floor now, but it's just these three players for Dog1, and yeah, they're gonna get out. Cookie Jake might actually get caught in here and choke. Shiki hit him for two nice rockets, but he is gonna barely survive. That was almost a huge misplay here. Micah's still caught in as well, so this is gonna be a late pick, unless he can get out and just move to like rolling. He's not gonna let him do that. That is a crucial late pick. Oh, he's coming up straight behind through the rollout, oh. and he gets their demo. Liko getting Shiki as well. And Hubert does come out here from... Cookie Jake as they start to move in here through Big Door. Peyotes was popped as well as it looks like they're getting wrapped here. They're gonna have to get pushed out, yeah. Rikichu does go down super late here in Elbow, and Renga goes down as well. They're just kind of crumbling again. They drop two people, Demo and Pocket behind them. Yeah, Dog One was a bit scrambled at the end of that mid, and so was I, honestly. I didn't know which point they were going to anymore. That was a crazy Peyotes mid. just gonna walk it in here. Yeah. They know that they have this player advantage. They have about even Ubers, but. Dog doesn't want any of it, they're just gonna give it up and go straight back to the uh, old goalie watch stalemate. Yeah, I see Sam. Sam on sniper again. Sam's a known sniper in the same spot again. I, I know he's a UGC gold champion sniper, that is. So, expect big things out of him. Liko playing engineer here up on the left, putting that sentry up on the left spot. Um. I'm surprised they're not trying the uh, jump on the head sentry as a heavy and then hit on the box and then get on the ledge strap. As it looks like Rolling is bombing and he hits a nice rocket on Karanga, but he is gonna be able to- Actually, that's Tristan just walked right in on the point. Skag almost capped it. And he is actually gonna force the Uber along with Shiki. Oh my goodness. And he's still alive. He's still in secret. Do they know? Yeah, they're gonna be able to find him up. That was a big Uber force there. Cookie Jake realizing he had to pop to save the point. And they just like had nobody in River again. Two people just got straight in through river and almost won the round single-handedly and that was another crucial misplay from dog one like they, they always look so good they look so calm so collected and then they just beef super hard for no reason yeah have... even though they had three pick they still weren't able to do anything yeah. with that because the snail that had the uber advantage and because dog had so many off classes that they just can't get out so snail did got away with a free uber force and we'll see Snail Dick coming in through River again. They see that it's clear. And they're just going to come straight in here. We're in the demo in and just getting on that point. Because oh, he's just coming in through the shut box. <laughs> and that is a up. commanding 3 1 half for Snail Dick. Okay, so that play from Skag and, um, Skag and Cheeky was amazing. Not only did they almost win the round by themselves, but by the time they got so much cap time, by the time they pushed in, they already had half cap still. It took that long to drain, and they were able to just uber straight onto the point. And it was basically a last fight that's twice as easy as normal. So that was that was a crucial play there. Snailda just seems like so good at these lasts, or like manipulating Dog One to go where Whoa, they want them so they can get going last. all the way behind into the lobby. What is this? Yeah, this is a three-one half here for Snailda. I am honestly Gotta surprised. Wait. I am super surprised. I mean, I just nailed it with solid, but they are looking commanding here. Like, Dog1 usually is the team, I would say, that picks off people's mistakes the most, and they have done it in this match, but Snailed it has just been so good at just, like, picking out the tiniest things with, like, uber positioning and team fights and just taking it all the way to the bank. And they have definitely shown it so far in this game. Yeah. They, they know how to make the best of their situations there. It was I a got pretty it. risky move, honestly, trying to get in like that, because right when their soldier jumped, their their sentry was upgrading. I, I noticed that. So he it kind of worked in his favor. He was able to get a bunch of damage in on the med, and then the scouts just ran for the point because it was open. Anyway, I'm looking at these stats, and every player on Snail that besides Peyote has nine kills, except for Tristan, aka Skag. Who is going 17 and 13. He is top ranking in the server by a sizable margin. And 
I've never actually seen that kind of symmetry with four players on a team getting nine kills, which is funny. But then Tristan just do it getting eight more frags, like, oh, whatever. Just going crazy. On the other side, though, we do have Ranga top fragging. That's that's to be expected. Interestingly, though, I do, it's probably because of the pause, actually. But Sam sitting at 105 DPM. Even with the pause, though, he is still 50, like 30 DPM lower than the next person, which is very interesting. He honestly has been playing a lot slower. He's been on Sniper a lot of times, so he hasn't been able to get out as much damage. And his frag stat is still fine. I mean, he's sitting at 7 and 9. But really, like, Dog1, they really just need to fix these crucial mistakes. Like, they're playing so well and so polished, and then it's just like someone just turns their brain off or something, and then they just do something really dumb. And then they lose a round because of it. Like, they've had three just terrible, terrible occurrences, and then they basically just lose rounds off them. The thing in River, the like, the bait push from Liko, where they committed four people, and then there is one other thing that just kind of made me go, ah, why do you do it? <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, silly. I have seen Dog1 before, obviously, against Toothless. They are second half warriors, they are second half legend, and I'm pretty sure they're having a very, very long talk right now about how to fix these problems. But I, I still find it kind of interesting when Snailed It had the uh, heavy on the offense, and they tried baiting and Dog to push, but it just all crumbled. It was all kinds of weird. Yeah. I don't know, this is definitely not what I was expecting. It looks like the ready-ups are starting to come in. I have seen absolutely one person ready-up so far. I feel like both teams are having just super long talks right now, even though Snailed in, Snail this talk should just be like, okay, we need to just make them do more dumb things. <laughs> just force it out of them. Just squeeze them until they act. Dumb. You use better quality bait. I was just really... Those were like three of the weirdest last caps I've ever seen. And I mean, Goalie Wash is usual for weird last caps because of the flank route through under. I think it's only rivaled by Badlands and just like weird caps. But these are like on another level. Looks like most of Snellwood is readying up though. So we should get going soon as long as the Cat 1, Dog 1, that's going to confuse me forever talk. Doesn't take too long. I feel like it's a really succinct talk. But it's also, they also have like a lot of problems with it. They're all summarized super easily. And as I've said, they are second half warriors, so I assume them they're going to come out with the stronger showing in the second half than the first half. But that first half is just so, uh, so eh. It'll be so interesting eh. what they try to do. I wonder if Sam will keep trying to get on Sniper again when they get yeah. pushed out of mid. I mean, I've definitely—he definitely has the aim to do it. I just don't know if he really has the timing, the timing yeah. down, because there have been some questionable times when he's good sniper. I mean, you've it got... seems like when he just dies really early in the mid fight, he just up snipers and assumes that the team's just gonna come barreling straight in a second. With skis ready, though, we are gonna start the second half here. Who are you gonna watch on this mid, Mister Rock and Roll? I. Hmm. I think I will watch Shiki. Or, actually, let's watch Glider because they're not going choke for once. <laughs> yeah, Glider's moving up here on the right side. Wow, actually, he's going to be very aggressive. Off guard, and he's going to be able to just walk up and two pipe Rikachu. That's actually pretty even mid here, but it looks like all oh, this might actually be. Is Ski's going to just destroy them? No. Wow, that was really fast. Shiki okay. and Glider just getting in there doing tons of damage. And the Shiki's still alive. I'm surprised by that. He was picking up two frags. Yeah. I question that non commit from Cookie Jake because he still had Mecha with him. And honestly, Skis was at 90 and Shiki was at 85. That was a totally winnable fight for them. And yeah, Dog One is going to be like, yeah, we're not going to let you cap second off that. They're going to push him out here. Ubers are definitely in favor of Cookie Jake as they're starting to move in through Big Door. They're starting to at least show a bit of presence. As the Uber starts to come up, Cookie Jake cannot afford to walk through that shutter there though, because he's getting super spammed until he gets his Uber at least. And looks like it is starting to come out. He's actually got Rikachu on a short lease here because he's super hurt. Misses the arrow on the Ranga, but he's able to pick up the kill on the Shiki on the backside of that. They're going to be able to get mid with free Uber as Peyote still doesn't have his up, and they aren't even building either. 
which is interesting. They don't even want to hold second, it looks like. They're just gonna Rolling jump straight in behind out. Though, he's up top. Okay. That's they're not even doing the passive hold, they're just going straight to last. Rolling had a chance there to go for the mid, but I feel like it was the, it was the smart idea to just kind of back out. They had to even maneuvers. Going for a what? sack there could have been the last push. And in, in the past, when they tried to do those passive holds, they they lost a couple players while trying to back up, so maybe they just wanted their full numbers here. They couldn't afford to lose anything. And they're just going to get an engineer and build a sentry because they have a little bit of time here. Sam and we'll see Tristan is... on sniper. Yeah, Sambo's also using the snail that strat. He is hiding in water behind the little pack, and he's just going to wait. I don't think anybody... Okay, Shiki does spot him out, though. He just peeked at the wrong time. He looks like he's going to live. Yeah, he's going to be able to get out at least. But, you know, he was, he was trying to set up something, but it, he just doesn't have the finesse. The finesse of the jank. He is setting up the sentry there on the right. Honestly, this isn't the best sentry spot in the world. I'd like to see it somewhere, like, near maybe Choke. Because it just gets destroyed anyway. Rikachu does go down there. He went and committed for the sentry, more or less. And Rolling just cleaned him up. And that's going to be Snailbit moving in here through lobby, at least a little bit. Oh, Mike is on the backside. He's on a peyote. He's got him down to 20 health. But he is going to be able to pick up the pack. Oh, Micah. He could have gone in and just completely just dropped him. He was so low. I'm surprised Peyote didn't pop from that, actually. I think Snailbit is just really looking for an opportunity to push out here. But... Dogs is going to be coming straight and back in, really asserting their presence in lobby, and they're just going to have to go straight back to home last. We'll see skis on NG. Sam back under. He's just going to walk straight on the point. He finds rolling. He does some decent damage to him, but he is going to go down. Nico goes down as well, trying to go for the sack, and he actually did pop Peyote Zuber, so that's going to be pretty good. As they're trying to move in through lobby anyway, as they are two down, Cookie Jake is going to be able to set up on the Uber. They might lose second from the aggression, but they should be able to just push in super easily as long as Cookie Jake doesn't pop that Uber. And yeah, oh, they losing bait. too many players trying to get them oh, in the headache. Oh, interest didn't go down. The Rikichu with 2k, and that's going to be the end of their aggression. They say, oh, you sack two players, we can sack two players as well. But they were super late on it. And now Cookie Jake and family are going to move in here. They're going to pop off their Uber through Shutter. Renga getting deep in onto the Medic. They actually do pick up Rikachu in there in the Shutter. They don't see the Sentry, though, and it's doing a lot of damage. And that might actually save the round here. It's currently a 3v3, but it looks like... It's a 1v1 on the point. Sam wins the 1v1, though. He takes down Skag Hiding and secret, waiting for the right opportunity. The round. He seizes it. Amazing. That sentry there, that almost ruined their entire push. Ranga just, like, looked at it. He didn't even shoot at it for a second. He's like, what the hell is this doing here? And he almost got killed by it. But that is going to be 3-2. Dog1 pulling it back. And I'm going to watch Liko on this mid as he goes up drop down. He actually saw the combo was going on floor, but he's... He's a smart guy, he knows something. He's gonna try to pull off something. Skis goes down super early here. He's actually behind Shiki, he's gonna do a lot of damage on him. He's gonna take him down. And but Rango is down as well on the other side. So this is actually a pretty even fight right now. Liko is actually super hurt. He Cookie Jake misses the arrow. He's gonna be able to get it onto him now though. Rolling stuck in the left side. He is gonna go down, but the combo of Snailin is moving back in. They're getting a lot of cleanup. They take down Rikachu and Liko. And they're going to be able to push them out and take this wow, mid. Wow, Tristan got so low. Did you see that? He almost got killed there. Oof. I'm surprised Snailed was able to grab the mid fight there, because they went really hard aggressive on the right and really pushed Dog out. And then Dog started to squeeze off, and it looked like they were going to be able to push him out, but I guess Snailed it just flexed their muscles and really kept the mid to the ground, got back aggressive again, and took the point. These mids have been very wonky. They've been really long, usually they've been pretty even, and then like they flip flop. Most the last of the time. round was really fast. Yeah, was last round was surprisingly see. fast. We're going to see Classic Billy Watch Dumbmate. Actually, wow, that was a scout getting in really far on the flank. They actually might catch out Liko here. They do take down Skis. As the rest of Snell are trying to push in here through Big Door, but they're going to back out. Back out, back on the mid as Dog One moves in, but Tristan going in for the two shot on the Cookie Jake takes him down. Peyote has the full uber advantage right now, and we do see Mike is actually behind the last second. He's moving into the choke. He is going to get caught out, though. Renga and Liko go down as well, and Michael loses the 1v1 to skis. So this is looking pretty bad right now. They did pop the uber out from Peyote, so it's not going to be the end of the world, but they really barely have the resources to hold here. Dog's just trying to commit too many players. Er, sorry. Um... Dog trying to commit too many players, and then Snail is just playing cleanup crew here. And they do have full player advantage, and they're just gonna really get their positioning and wait for the Uber, and they're gonna be able to push it straight in. Yeah, peyote has got a small Uber venture. He's gonna try and build it out a little bit more, but he's probably not gonna get anything useful out of it. Maybe 15 at the best, but 
that's not really going to be much. We do have Micah up on Pyro here, just in case they decide to push in off the Super Ad, which is starting to become a little bit larger, but again, 15% tops. They're not building anymore, so this is probably going to be a stalemate, unless they decide to go for it, which they are not. Actually, it looks like oh, Rolling is going to bomb. Here comes the double messy. soldier bomb. They shut down Rolling, and the Pyro is just completely knocking Cheeky out of the air. So air blasts him right into the stickies and takes him down, and Liko is able to pick up Glider as well. So this is disastrous for Snail there right now. They are already bailed out of here. Looks like Skag trying to stay in and delay the soldiers for a couple more seconds. He might go down for it. No, he's going to be able to get out. But Cookie Jake and family are just taking all this room that they're given. They're going to pop the Uber. They're going to sit in the mid. They haven't even capped second yet. They're going to exchange Ubers here in choke. Snail they're pushing them out a little bit, but not really getting anything done otherwise. Snail trying to move in here as well. They Oh, Liko takes down Peyote, though. Rolling goes down as well, but not after not before killing Cookie Jake as well. This is just a super scrappy fight, but it looks like Dog One is going to come out the better. Oh, Glider able to kill Sam with the sticky trap, though. He is actually, he's gonna, looks like he's going to hold this. No, he's going to back out, yeah. Nailed it. We're trying to commit too many players in with their Uber there. And then they really got destroyed for, because they didn't have their players there. And they got when they got the spawns, they really ran in. And they were too late on that one. And it was just just picking off players one by one as they fall in through Rolling is sitting on nipple, stopping mid. They have not capped it yet. Shiki does go down to the sticky trap, though, from Rikachu. So they, they might be able to cap this. I don't know. Snailed it has stopped it, and they are not getting their forwards at all. They really need to cap this off, like, right now. Because it is steadily ticking away. And they still have the player advantage. Shiki, Gag is in on the Cookie Jake, but Cookie Jake takes him down with the arrow to Ubersaw combo. Rolling oh gets the 2 cleanup. Oh my goodness. Skag is not happy about that at all. But looks like Cookie Cake with the 2v1, the, the twofer, taking the mid and evening up the Ubers with that Uber saw as well. It looks, wow, like they wanna, it looks like they may want to move in there. They're uneven players though. Both pockets just spawned up. We do have rolling on spy. Oh, is he just, he's just checking, okay. I was getting excited there, but he is just checking for off classes. Nobody on uh, Dog One is up on any crazy wonky classes. But Sam actually does go down to skis there. So that might be the trigger to push. Looks like Rolling is going to go in through drop down as well. He's been spotted out there being true, though. He's going in. He's not going to get anything here. Yeah, he's going to get mulched by Micah. That's going to be their sack. That's going to be the counter sack. And looks like Dog One is actually going to try and move through his choke here. They pop it off. They have not popped Peyote yet. Finally pops now, but Cheeky Zuber is going to be a lot better, and they're going to have to get out here. It's really just going back and forth here. They popped the Uber and were trying to commit, but they weren't managed to get anything done because everything is Uber or even here. They have the even players in Uber, 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 and they just couldn't push in. Snailed it, really just forcing them out, and now they're back to just holding on the midpoint. And both teams are going to try to build Uber and see if they can get any picks and push straight back in. Yeah, Cookie Jake has a, had a small uber advantage, but he isn't building, and Peyote is always building. So this is going to even out to pretty even ubers. Cookie Jake wanting to move through Victor, I think he's misjudging his uber advantage. This might be a big misplay coming up if they decide to go through here. Because they actually are at an uber disadvantage now. And Liko's going to go in, he gets taken down by a ski skag, and that's going to be, yeah, they're going to have to back out there now. But they're combo in flank, oh, they really can't in, He's are getting in a, a rocket onto Cookie Jake, he is going to go down. To Rikachu, though. So, once again, the evening out. Both teams have their Ubers. Rikachu trying to push in here through Big Door. Looks like, oh, he gets dropped by the Sticky Trap from Glider, though. Oh, my goodness. They just keep beefing it. They just they just keep losing them, losing the players at the worst times. It looks like Glider now able to pressure here through Big Door without the threat of Rikachu. And this looks like it's going to be the mid for Sneldit, unless Rikachu is going to be able to delay enough for the spawns from Rikachu. Liko goes down, though, to the rocket from Cheeky. Oh. They almost picked off Renga as well, but Skag is able to go down. Ski's actually fighting. He's gonna rush in onto Rikachu in choke. He's got so much damage onto him, but he is not able to clean up the frag. He actually boshed and bashed it there to steal the pack from him, which was a really smart play, but it didn't end up working out in the end. Mike actually sitting up here in elbow. He almost got cut out by Shiki, but it looks like they're gonna have to they're gonna get forced out here. Both teams having their second mid fight. Snail that was really trying to get in there, but dogs stood their ground and kind of picked off players one at a time and slowly gained themselves the player advantage. And they're just going to be coming straight in here, trying to Uber in, try to get them to force, and they do. And they're backing out because they couldn't really make anything happen. Sam not backing out fast enough and dying. 
rolling cut in behind as well. The spawns for Dogwana are up, so they can definitely fight this if they get here fast enough. It's an even fight, more or less. They do cap the point, so they are going to have a better spawn, but Cookie J still wants to fight this as they're still even right now, and uh, they aren't going to be able to get in in time, and they realize the forward spawn is a thing, so they're going to have to back out. Back to holding second. Not with not really much of an uber advantage, so I guess we'll have to see what the teams do. Yeah, we don't have been still mating out. Yeah, we don't have like any off classes. I'm surprised because normally you'd see an, someone up sniper try to go sack in. But... Oh, pause hype. Probably Liko lagging again. Um, Cookie Jake has a small uber advantage, but again, Peyote has been super, super good at building, so he's basically nothing at this point. I do have some information from my insider video gamer. Uh, cookie meme, aka Cookie Jake, that Liko is again lagging, and they're gonna try and fix it this time. Um, interestingly, Liko is caught in Big Door, and and uh, Young Skag is looking directly at him, or he's going to be looking directly at him if he goes through Big Door. So if Liko's lagging out, this could actually be a pick. If he doesn't realize that he's lagging out, I mean, he's probably gonna kill him anyway, even if he is lagging out. But it depends if he's lagging out or if he's just lagging. Uh, yeah, hopefully, he doesn't drop. Yeah. He, has, he didn't drop last time, so I don't think he would this time. But, I don't know, I haven't been watching Liko's ping much. Um, he, look, he's been playing fine-ish. He's got the most points on his team besides Cookie, so I assume he's doing fairly well. But, you know, it always sucks to feel like you're not doing your best because you have ping spikes all the time, especially for Roamer. Or really any projectile-based class. Yeah, you don't have the luxury of Sam... a lot of compensation like Scan does. So, Sam is taking a potty break. Oh no. Uh, Liko's lag is better for now, and they're gonna pause soon. Trademark. So, hopefully this is gonna be back in. Either way, it looks like it's pretty much gonna be an even fight here, as long as Liko doesn't drop or die to true Skag. Skag doesn't have a buff here, so honestly, if he tries to go in... If he realizes that Liko's here and that he was lagging and he tries to go in and kill him, he's probably just going to get too rocketed and die. So I feel like the, the best idea for everyone involved is just kind of not do anything. I think Micah and Sam was going to rotate over to help Lyka out, because Tristan is probably going to run straight in there and check to see if Lyka's still there. Perhaps. Looks like, yeah, I, we have the unpause. All oh, right, yep, here we, go. we are back into video games. Yeah, Ski, Skag in the back off from there. Everyone's slip sliding around, so it's going to be really annoying. Glider's actually stuck in Crouch Squad, so that's also a thing. Um, Liko actually hiding, sort of, in Big Door. Okay, he was hiding on the sign there for a moment, but he backed out. And looks like Rolling is in, but he gets air shot there by Ranga, shutting him down. Shiki goes down as well. Snailhead has been doing these double soldier bombs a lot, and they just really have not been working at all. They just lose two soldiers most of the time without even getting the force. The Uber is popped off here from both teams. Glider does go down super early as well, though. So that's going to be a free mid. Unless the back cap happened, Ski's sitting on it, but uh, most of the team is coming back. Yeah, they're going to go down. Cookie J takes no damage. Dog just coming straight in there and forcing the medics Uber out so early. I was able to get him for that. I mean, Snailhead it just waited and waited. Rolling is in forward spot on Sniper. He hasn't been spotted yet. Oh, he got two good shots on that cookie, but he couldn't clean him up, and he is going to have to stop. He's going to have to back off of Sniper. Oh, man. Medic's going for the Ubersaws again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jake 1v1ing the scout. What does Wanko think he's doing? Trying to melee Raikachu. Renga able to take down the sentry, and oh, but Liko gets air shot there by Shiki. The Ubers are, well, actually, Cookie Jake has a sizable advantage, but well, they don't have a player advantage. They are going to try to move in here through River. It looks like Renga really wants to push this ad, and it looks like they are going to do it as soon as Liko comes up. They theoretically have a window where Liko can be here, and also, um, get it, still going to move around. He's actually going in, Renga right on the peyote. He does get the kill, Mike able to clean up his damage. Sam goes down, though. This looks like it might be around. They have gotten a lot of time on point, but... Shiki and Rolling are going to be able to block it. Oh, Moringa has the 3k with the water rocket. And the cleanup is astounding. And that is going to be the tie round there from Dog 1. Rang God wow. from Sam. Unbelievable. Just... I, I didn't think that they were going to pull that off there. And then that happened. That was amazing. We have 15.55 left in this game at a tie game.
Uh, this mid is going to be pretty determining. I think I'm going to watch Liko as he goes up drop down. Again, team going floor. He's going to try to go for the demo. He actually misses the first jump, and Glide has got a sneaky trap waiting for him. Takes him down. Super easy. Cookie Jake actually super hurt already. He is going to be able to pick up the pack, but it looks like most of Cap 1, aka Dog 1, is going to be pushed out, and the Straggler is going to be picked up. That is an entire flank missing for Cookie Jake. Oh, and look at that. Oh, he's coming straight up behind him, trying to go for the bed. Kick and get him! him. And he takes down Ranga too with the crispy. Wow, was that an Uber drop? I think that was almost a drop. That was a crazy flank there from Rolling. Gets the med, hits a crazy rocket out of the pocket as well. And the Uber's coming in here from Snell. This is pretty much just a round over. They have so much positioning, so much, so much Uber. They are going to try to get on point here. Pikachu does go down though, so does, so does Micah. And it's just going to be a round cap there for Snell. Wow. And what a domineer, dominating round there. Nice work from Rolling. That round was less than a minute, was a minute and uh, nine seconds long. That was almost TCM push level. And Snellid is now sitting on a comfortable round advantage. And they definitely have the momentum to close it out here. I'm watching skis as he's moving up the left here. He spots out Cookie Jake and he isn't able to deny it. Ooh, Glider gets taken out early by Micah though. That's probably going to be the catalyst forcing them out of mid as they really don't even have positioning anymore. Oh, Wanko, I'm sorry, rolling, <laughs> rolling, getting the medic there. Yeah, Cookie Jake goes down there at the end of that fight too. That's going to be pretty critical. They are going to lose in mid, but Peody is going to have a sizable move advantage, especially if he's building it on the run like he is with skis right now. Arrows him as well. Oh my goodness, Peody. This medic, he's so good. Just nailed it, just building that Uber as fast as they yeah. can. They, have, they know they have a full advantage there and they can really come in and just wreck stuff. I'm surprised they have an arrow built yet with the disadvantage. Looks like Ranga is hiding in drop down though. He's waiting for the call from his team to go in. Peyote's moving through the The combo actually goes through drop down, and he does kill Shiki. He does take out Shiki as uh, Peyote didn't pop. He does pop it off on the glider though. They are able to. Skis goes down as well though. So Cookie Jake has a pretty good Uber advantage. They have two picks. And looks like Sam is trying to move in here. They're actually moving in through Big Door. A lot of players on Snellbit are super hurt. Tristan sitting at 27 health. He is going to get caught out by the rocket from Liko. And this cap was stopped as well. It was so close, but it got cut off at the last moment. Liko in super deep trying to get something, but he's going to back out. Did Snellbit pop to The back cap, though. The back cap. He's on mid. Who's on mid? As Wanko, aka Rolling, gets the back cap. Oh my goodness. And what do you think? Dog One just has the littlest bit of momentum. Liko in on the... Peyote though, he takes down Peyote! Oh my goodness! One team gets an advantage and it just gets cruelly torn away immediately! Oh my gosh, this game! Dog one able to get back into mid cap after it looks like they were gonna lose it because of the back cap. And now they're just back into back into motion. Oh my gosh, we're rolling. Time for their team. rolling. He's camping spawn, he's 1v1ing Liko here on This is this is a huge distraction right now, even if it is just a Romer v Romer fight, and it looks like he's going to win! No! Sam comes back and he saves him, and the Uber here coming in from Dog1. Micah in onto Glider, he does a lot of damage, Shiki goes down as well, the Uber soft fight's coming in! Peyote down to 83% Uber, he's so close to his Uber, Cookie Jake is down as well, but they just have so many people on the point, and that's going to be the tie round again from Dog1. Oh my goodness, this video game. I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. Dog pulled two players out there to go kill Rolling, and I'm surprised they're still able to get there and get the last. Alright. Who are you watching on this mid? <laughs> I'm gonna be watching Laika, because he's jumping straight in there and he's getting the demo! Oh, that's huge! Oh no. I gotta keep the counter on. Oh, Rolling goes down as well! Oh, Tristan! He's in on the cookie tank! He takes him down! With the last jump wow, out of his scatter. is just getting so aggressive on them. Oh my goodness. They, they knew they had to just. They just had to pull it all in, and they did, but they also lost King Jake in the process. Only three up here for Snellit, so they're probably going to lose second, but they are going to have the Uber ad to hold last and push out. Cookie Jake just coming up now, so Peyote's seeing on an 80% Uber advantage. With last cap, though, they're going to have to watch out for the backs one. Ranga comes in and he drops Peyote. Oh my goodness. These teams, monster. they're beefing so hard. Sam spamming binds in chat. Oh my goodness. And the back cap potential has opened up now. Now that it's they gonna have be well second. before Dog is Uber, so we're gonna see Snail that pulling up an NG, pulling up a heavy. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if they get a, a Pyro too, because they're gonna want to pull everything to stop them from coming in here. Yeah. The only good thing about that drop is that it happened when Cookie Jake was well and far away from having Uber. So, it was a drop. It really leveled but it was, the playing field for them. Yeah, it was the worst 
possible time to get a drop. Glider actually sticky trapping off river this time. He knows Sam was lurking around here the last couple times. He's also on Donk Cannon, which is interesting. They are pulling out like the full gimmicks, full Prolander, Donk Cannon, Soldier on Pipe, everything heavy, NG, no Pyro, which I'm surprised by. But it looks like the Uber's gonna come straight in. Rico takes down the dispenser, the crucial pick. Ranga coming in there, just- Level three in secret. It's morphing on this heavy. Ease goes down, so does Peyote. They're three up, and this looks like it's going to be the last hurrah for Sneldon. It's just Glider alive. He's sitting behind, but he can't get it, and that's going to be the odd one with four rounds in the second half, taking home another amazing second half victory. 5-4 over Sneldon. Oh my goodness, this team. This team plays with my emotions. You think they're just <laughs> playing so badly, and then they just come back and get four rounds in the second half. Like, what is that? Oh my that, goodness. That was a really good last push there. You couldn't see the sentry in secret from River, but their roamer was spamming it out and got it down really lit. So all the demo had to do was put down one stick and blow that sentry away. Snailed it was so close to they could taste that victory, but Dog One came back with another amazing comeback and pulled it out. Honestly, I feel like the big catalyst was that drop from Ranga. He literally just walked in lower and got two rockets on the peyote while he wasn't even seeing. He didn't have time to pop. I don't think there were frames that he could actually actuate the mouse button on. That's how close <laughs> and how synced those rockets were. He took a page from Rowling's book. <sighs> Get some was... revenge there from on him. The control point is being contested. Again, just one little thing. One tiny little thing. Yeah, and just it completely just... flipped that <laughs> upside down. Because it just seemed just... like things were going so well for them. Yeah, and, I think and they got be able the, to push right out, but yeah, they got the med pick on mid. Uh, Skag went huge with that. Got the nice meat shot on the Cookie Jake, and then just it completely erased because nobody was watching Big Door. You always gotta watch Big Door. It's the moral of this game. You always gotta watch Big Door. They lost like eight. both teams combined have probably lost like five rounds to so just Big Door shenanigans. Yeah, I felt like both teams didn't commit enough players to watching it, and a lot of those last pushes were just coming straight down river. And scouts a couple times trying to go for the back cap there because they didn't notice them just coming right in. Yeah, looking at these stats though, it looks like Skag is still holding top frag in the server, going 32 and 26. But he does have Micah surprisingly right behind him, going 30 and 16. Sam dropping the ball a little bit, going 18, going 15 and 19 at 118 DPM. But Ski's also kind of dropping the ball, bottom fragging. Both teams kind of had like one scout pulling most of the weight and the other scout was just kind of relegated to off-classing and playing a little bit more passive. I mean, that's how you play it, but these numbers are pretty stark in their contrast. Well, Gully Wash has lots of off-classes on last, so that's probably what we're seeing there. With them going heavy every single time or going NG, yeah. whichever class that they're choosing. Well, I am sweating. I've not gotten that excited over video games since probably Ion Finals, which was coincidentally the last game I cast. But I think that brings a close to tonight's EVL TV action. Uh, I've been flatlined. Alongside me has been the, the newbie, the noob, the newcomer, rock and roll, 805. I tried and so hard. <laughs> he, he did try so hard. G give him your hearts. Give him your hearts in the, the chat arena, all 25 of you. I want to see 25 hearts. Anyway, uh, I'm out. I'm pretty sure Rock and Roll is out too. I'm pretty sure Critical Flaw is also out. Maybe, I don't know, the stream might be up all night long. Like, just nothing. But that is going to be it. So Have a good night, guys. And drive safe.